Good evening. A father convicted of killing his own son and still three years after Joe Clyde Daniels vanished, the little boy's body has never been found. But tonight, a possible jump start to the search. As News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us, a letter from the father may provide some new leads. Joseph Daniels sent a letter to private investigator David Marshburn. David Marshburn, who's been involved in other high-profile missing persons cases across the country. And now Marshburn says he's returning to Tennessee. Five-year-old Joe Clyde Daniels disappeared from his Dixon County home in 2018. This summer, his father, Joseph, was convicted of murder, but the little boy's body has never been found. If his remains are, are never found, this is going to be a story that we'll continue to hear about. Uh, two or three decades from now. After Joe Clyde disappeared, a six mile radius around his home was thoroughly searched. Marshburn, who works out of North Carolina, came later that year to look. Not a trace of the boy was ever found. There are no more organized searches, but now Marshburn is returning. I kind of like to come in after the fact, after everybody's done. No, you know, it's gone very cold. He's coming with some new leads and his cadaver dog thanks in part to a letter Joseph Daniels sent him last month from prison. Letters, you know, back and forth. So I have had conversation with Joseph. Daniels writes, Dear David, as you know, I'm now convicted for a murder. Daniels does not admit to killing or disposing of his son's body, but he does go on to write, Here are some roads I want searched. Mostly, these are roads in the surrounding area. My plan for coming back is to, to um, expand the search out further. Marshburn doesn't know if Daniels is leading him to his son's body or if he's lying, as he has so often done in the past. But Marshburn won't give up on the search. I'm always optimistic about people being found. I believe, I truly believe. He'll be found. So now Marshburn now has a list of roads and new places to search, hoping it leads to Joe Clyde's body more than three years after he disappeared. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. All right, Nick, thanks. Marshburn expects to return later this fall or winter when the brush is down and the trees are bare. Three years after the fact, he'll be looking for little more than bone fragments or bits of clothing. Of course, we've tracked this case for you from the beginning. Little boy's parents were both arrested just days after his disappearance, and almost a year later, a judge ordered they'd be tried separately. Since then, Joseph was found guilty and sentenced. Crystal awaits her trial in February. And with the new charges, she could face life in prison.